Explora Journeys is approaching its inaugural season. And today we're gonna learn all about their entertainment and dining. Let's go. Welcome to Tuesday Travel Chat. I'm your host, Julia, from Go Travel, along with Bob Cook. And we have our special guest in the studio today, Tomas Bacacruz from Explora Journeys. Now, you may remember we recently chatted with Explora Journeys and got a real full introduction to this all-new brand. So you'll definitely want to check that out if you haven't already. But today, we're going to focus on two recent reveals, entertainment and dining plus a sneak peek into their second ship, Explora 2. But first, let's get into the mood with this quick video. I know your demographics are a little different. I know you told me earlier that you're skewing younger than mm -hmm. for a product like you have, you are skewing younger. Yes. And who is coming to Explorer Journeys? No, that is certainly a, a great question, Bob. And what we're founding thus far for those guests who have booked with us are actually those who have not necessarily cruised before. They uh, they have are skewing, like you said, about 10 years younger than traditional normal uh, traditional luxury cruisers. And, and our median age is actually around 52, mm -hmm. which is a, a, a departure from what is traditionally found yes. in the luxury space. Um, we're also finding that these are still working age professionals. Of course, being 52, they're, they may have reached that C-level position in their career. Uh, but, and of course, they love to travel well. Yeah. And the way we've designed our journeys is uh, most of them be, are sit between seven to 11 nights. So that does offer uh, a little bit of <laughs> flexibility for those who may be looking to get away for a little bit of time, but not be out, uh, out of the office for okay. too long. Uh, so then moving into now that we have uh, the brand introduction mm -hmm. kind of out of the way or kind of a brand refresher, I actually wanted to highlight a couple of the, the topics that we're uh, that we mentioned previously, which is first and foremost is going to be our entertainment. We made a great uh, splash in introducing what our entertainment program is mm -hmm. going to be like. I know uh, the team behind the scenes has been hard at work put, mm -hmm. putting together a program that is uh, distinctive and, and certainly going to be uh, very popular am amongst our guests. And we will go ahead and into and moving into how we've. Uh, you know, curated some of these experiences. They really uh, frame around four different pillars. And the pillars, are, of course, are going to be activities, experiences, events, and rituals. Those are really um, core to how our guests are going to interact in the mm -hmm. uh, on the onboard from the onboard perspective. Now, when it comes to our activities, for example, uh, we have a, a wide selection, and we're slowly going to start rolling these uh, these out. And as, as again, as we get closer to that inaugural season, which uh, for those who are counting down, we're less than 200 days away, which yeah. is very exciting. It's been a long time coming, but yes, uh, we are very eager for that that launch uh, on July 17th. But in terms of our activities for from an entertainment perspective, they're going to be wide and varied, looking to uh, to accommodate all of our, you know, most of our guests' needs and what they're mm -hmm. looking for when it comes to having a 
an, a relaxing holiday on the ocean. But one that I'm, I'm excited about, and just as, as an example, is we're going to tap into the expertise of our of our uh, hosts on board, which is uh, what we're calling our crew. Okay. And we're going to tap into um, our bartenders and have them teach some really great mixology classes, okay. kind of have a hands-on oh, experience. Yeah. yeah. So for those who always wanted to maybe uh, get behind the bar and, and, <laughs> and throw some drinks yeah. together, they can certainly enjoy themselves. People um, love it. During that experience, exactly. And then moving into some of our uh, overall uh, experiences, again, we're mm -hmm. not going to be focusing or, from the onboard perspective. It's going to be more uh, of a focus to be on, uh, at an intimate level. We, there's not really one venue that is okay. going to accommodate uh, the full complement of the ship. We really wanted it to be as if a guests are you know, visiting a city somewhere where they're um, you know, they're going from a, a jazz bar to a, maybe then to a piano bar to okay. see a, more of a, as opposed to that Broadway style like show. Like a salon type. Exactly. More of experience. a, exactly, where you can, you feel a connection with mm -hmm. the, with the artists or, or with the entertainment that is, that you're um, in, in the, in the midst of yeah. there. I remember um, Kathy described it as kind of being able to wander in and wander yeah. out. Um, between different venues exactly. aboard so that it's it like it is it's not there's a specific time um you it's like, like a, being in a city like Correct. a party in a big mansion that you go room <laughs> <to> room. <laughs> each yeah. room has a different vibe exactly well and yes. you know we're a big a big phrase that we're, we're we're pushing here we're not looking to push anybody into right. any of these rooms we're looking to pull them in and really intrigue them by you know finding a, an that's, experience that they're looking for that's interesting because a lot of the cruises i've been on You've probably been shouted at. <laughs> well, I've been pushed out. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. No, it's, Just it's, because it's, it's like, well, it's either time or yeah. excessive loudness. That's true. Sure, sure. yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, Bob. Well, we'll um, have, I, I have tender ears. Well, we'll have we'll have spaces for those who have tender mm -hmm. ears, but then also for those who are looking to have more lively right. and active experience. And that's that's the beauty of how our, our entertainment program has really come together is that it, it really looks at the demographics. Um, of our guests and really plays to that and offers something that is, um, you know, really appreciated from from all segments of, of the market. And then moving into some of our events that, we'll, that we're looking to put together, of course, there's going to be a, a wide ranging um, mm -hmm. spectrum of, of what that's going to look like from, you know, hands on uh, uh, tours of the ship from from uh, from the crew perspective or from the host perspective, I should say, and then also having those um, those midnight uh, those midnight uh, experiences. Let's say after hours with uh, with the DJ up on the on the top deck, really mm -hmm. uh, watching what maybe even watching the sunrise uh, come up the next day. I know that uh, not Julia, that's up here. <laughs> up your alley. Bring it on, bring it on. We're ready I'm for there it. for sunset. There you go. Well, <laughs> there's there's that. And well, and there's and that actually brings that's a great segue, Bob. That brings us into some examples of our rituals. Mm -hmm. And one of them that I think you might be uh, interested in is the fact that we have um, a ritual around the moonrise and where um, every 28 days, guests are going to be able to gather um, and honor the full moon and, and wow. really take a take a in that uh, with a magical soiree. So being some signature cocktails and kind of dancing mm -hmm. the night away that way and, and really kind of bringing in a distinctive, yeah. uh, distinctive experience. There. So it's, it's the Thailand uh, full moon party, but in a. In a, the explorer way. Exactly. Well, the, the fun thing about being at sea is when the moon does rise, as it casts its light across mm -hmm. the ocean, it's a beam coming right at the ship. It's almost like it's it's pulling it's like you it's, in. It's like a spotlight that's focusing there on you, you. I like that. Yeah, it is that that spotlight mm -hmm. that 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 pulls yeah. you in and draws you in uh, there. So maybe that yeah. might be a, a ritual that may be up right up your alley. There, uh, I'm there. I'm there. Awesome. Well, and in here I wanted to uh, really. I know we've we've talked about the space. This is one of our more unique spaces that we have on board. It's our lobby bar mm -hmm. and uh, an, uh, an image that uh, we show very often because yes. it really highlights just how different the ship has been designed. Um, but I'm not going to talk about the design in, in this particular instance. What I'm going to talk about is the fact that uh, this is going to be at one of our uh, entertainment spaces. Mm -hmm. And it actually brings me to, uh, I know we were talking about this, Julie, we uh, recently announced our partnership with uh, Steinway & Sons. Beautiful. And so what what uh, that partnership means is that we'll have three beautiful Steinway pianos on board the ship. Uh, one in the Explorer's Lounge, mm -hmm. one in our lobby bar, and then the other in the Journey's Lounge. And that's okay. really, those are going to be the the main venues or, you know, dining or uh, entertainment venues, I should say, of where we'll have a lot of our resident artists uh, take place. But our, yeah, you'll, you can really appreciate how you can, you will grab up, walk up to the bar and grab a, your, your drink of choice and a, your, your libation, if you will, and, mm -hmm. and you grab a seat at the, on the, one of these beautiful uh, sofas nice. here and, and taking all the all the benefits of uh, that partnership. Well, you told me a little bit about your partnership with yes. Steinway. And the one thing that sounds fascinating is your journey that ends in New York City. Yes. And 
one of the options that you have. Yeah, so that no, that's a great segue. And, and what uh, this partnership with Signway is, it's not just that uh, we have their pianos because mm -hmm. you know anybody can get yeah. a Signway piano. But what we're looking to do is is actually with this partnership is is tap into the uh, into the the network that uh, uh, network mm -hmm. of artists that that Signway uh, has. And when we are on our, it's our Co Quebec to New York journey later this fall. Actually, for those who are uh, so so obliged, uh, we're going to be. Uh, Docking in New York, and one of our uh, destination experiences is we're going to have an opportunity for guests to uh, accompany one of the resident mm -hmm. artists for Signway and go and visit uh, the production facility of, of, of Signway and Sons and see kind of a behind the scenes yes. tour. But not only that, we won't stop there. We're actually going to be uh, offering a private. Um, almost like a private uh, showing, if you will, for the artists and have a, a recording nice. session there for, for our guests to really take advantage of. That's spectacular. That's, that is. That's, and, and it's those things that we're looking to kind of differentiate and offer something that uh, you can't, you, it's something you can't no. really buy either. It's an right. experience that you can't buy. And I know that um, it was just a, a few months ago that we were getting that first introduction mm -hmm. yeah. to Explora. Yeah. And, you know, we kept, what's the entertainment? And all of this was kept super quiet. Um, so it's exciting. Finally, this was all just recently yes. revealed, these partnerships and yep. kind of all of these types of entertainment. So it's well, and, exciting. And that's really the, the beauty of being at the ground level of, of something new and, and fresh is that there were, were behind the scenes really uh, mm -hmm. working feverishly to, to come up with, with something and, and really push the envelope on how, we can bring something distinctive to the market mm -hmm. that is going to be a, a, a attractive to uh, again uh, a, a new type of a new type of uh, guest mm -hmm. and clientele. Amazing. And then moving into uh, our dining experience. Speaking of something fresh and um, and, and exciting, uh, we of course did our, our formal culinary reveal uh, mm -hmm. last uh, last fall, uh, but now we're actually uh, getting into more of the uh, more of the menus and, mm -hmm. and kind of highlighting some of. Some of the uh, items that our, our team in our test kitchen has been really hard at work there. We have a test kitchen in France, and they've been really hard at work, of course, led by our head of culinary. His name was Frank Gonger. He developed a, an amazing culinary program at, at Oceana, which I, I know is yes. uh, really well known. Um, and Very so he's well brought uh, a lot of that, the, the, the talent that he had there uh, wow. at Oceana with him to explore journeys and really has crafted some amazing um, amazing meals that uh, I know we behind the scenes have been salivating at just seeing some of these images and, and videos uh, of what they've uh, yeah. crafted. And we have this wonderful video that we just launched earlier this week that is uh, going to make everyone's uh, mouth water. Well, I can tell you, having brought him on board, you have definitely elevated your food quality. That man is spectacular with what he designs and uh, especially in that uh, Explorer is sort of giving him a little more carte blanche <laughs> to continue. I'm sure that you're going to have so many bespoke dining experiences that people just be sailing just to eat. Yeah, well, and speaking of our dining experiences, we have a total of 11 culinary experiences, six formal dining restaurants where guests are able to, to sit down and have a more uh, proper meal. But we have a, a total of 11. So there's no shortage of, wow. of ways to enjoy all the all the, the great uh, crafts that our culinary program has, has come in. And no additional charge, correct? So there's only one dining venue one? that is going to be an okay. additional cost. And a great point uh, so that is going to be our special dining restaurant called Anthology. And that is going to be a, an extra 100 euros per person. But aside mm -hmm. from that, the other dining venues and experiences are going to be included with the, with the journey fair. Very nice. But in terms of our, our actual culinary experiences, they really run the spectrum from, again, a light bite by the mm -hmm. pool for those who are looking to lounge uh, by the pool all day, maybe on a sea day, mm -hmm. to more of a formal uh, white tablecloth sit down dining venue, which we talked about a little bit, which is um, especially culinary, especially dining restaurant called Anthology. Anthology, Anthology correct. And that and that what's really unique about these uh, these dining venues in, in that um, the design has gone uh, further than just, you know, the in the interior space. We're actually providing al alfresco dining in most of our dining venues as oh, well, lovely. which is, I think, is something, again, that isn't traditionally found in the ocean space. You, Your alfresco is not hot dogs and hamburgers. <laughs> no, alfresco is not. Alfresco is, is being able to feel the ocean breeze while you're enjoying an amazing <laughs> meal, yeah. uh, be it at Anthology or Sakura. Uh, one of our uh, ama amazing other destinations, even our, um, our our European steakhouse, Marble & Co., has a wonderful alfresco uh, dining, uh, outdoor seating uh, mm -hmm. option for uh, for those guests to enjoy their their world class mm -hmm. uh, the world class steak there. And here, I, I kind of wanted to highlight um, some of these the, some of my favorite dining venues. That I think really give you a sense of, of how how distinctive these places are going to be. So first and, first and foremost, as we can see here, is going to be our Marble & Co. restaurant. This is a, a venue that um, is is really going to be our European steakhouse. And do we know the difference between a European steakhouse and Ooh. an American steakhouse? No clue. 
I'm I'm at a loss for words. Well, tell so, us. Tell and us. A, and a European steakhouse. It, well, it's simply uh, quantity over quality. So the European steakhouse is really going to focus on the quality of beef, and okay. that's something that Frank and team have really done a great job in sourcing uh, beef from from all over the world. But also, what he's done is, uh, and we've uh, we've had this conversation with him um, internally, is, is that uh, there's this isn't going to be a, a venue that only uh, those who eat meat can mm -hmm. enjoy. He, he's going to ensure that there's uh, vegan and vegetarian options. Uh, on these menus in the in all of our restaurants, so there, okay. there's inclusion for all. So if you do have yeah. that that member yeah. of your party that that may not be into uh, eating meat, they're they're gonna have uh, a, a really amazing uh, uh, dish here in uh, Marble and Co. Awesome. Yeah. So moving into anthology, as you can see, what I like uh, in this particular rendering here in the top left, you can see mm -hmm. the alfresco uh, dining outdoor seating. So you can imagine having that Michelin style. Uh, uh, dining experience, but just with the, mm -hmm. the ocean breeze uh, 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 swooping across your face. Beautiful. And then here's something that, you know, as we talked about um, with our partnerships earlier with, with Signaway, this is uh, an image of a couple of our lounges um, that we'll have uh, within the uh, a lounge space, I'd say, within mm -hmm. the ship. And of course, featured is that beautiful Signaway piano. Uh, that is going to be uh, a really popular uh, uh, venue for our guests to kind of congregate mm -hmm. in the late evening hours to really uh, see a wonderful, uh, wonderful performance. Now, this is uh, the piece of resistance, as we, as we <laughs> like to say, something that we're very, uh, very excited about. And this is probably the, the news that is uh, the freshest or the hottest off the press, if you yes. will. Um, this is uh, the announcement of our second ship first season explorer 2 will be launching in august of 2024 mm -hmm. so shortly thereafter so we have our first ship explorer 1 launching on july 17th mm -hmm. and then explorer 2 will be coming into the market on august of 2024 mm -hmm. and shall we give them a little bit of a peek i think we shall i think our, our, our marketing team and creative team have done a great job in yeah. really uh hyping up what this uh, next season is going to look like for us they put a lot of work into it so let's let's uh showcase it So what what the, that video does highlight is the fact that we're expanding our footprint. So as you can see here in our inaugural season, we'll have um, you know uh, basically sailing from um, the western you know Western Europe all the way over to to Alaska, covering a wide swath of, of destinations, going as far north as Iceland, mm -hmm. um, yep. and then going as far south as Rio uh, Rio de Janeiro for uh, Carnival in February 2024, and then all the way over to the Hawaiian Islands and up to Alaska. So that was really a lot of ground to cover in 365 days <laughs> with our first ship. Now, right. when we bring uh, uh, Explore Two into the uh, into the fold here, she'll be joining mm -hmm. us in the summer of 2024 in the Mediterranean. Of course, that's the best place to be yeah. in the summer on board a on board a beautiful ship. And then she'll be making her way down to some more exotic destinations and uh, going through the, the Suez Canal and into the Red Sea. Oh, and then and you can see she kind of bounces around through the Indian Ocean and um, mm -hmm. down into uh, South Africa. Are you seeing a lot of your guests booking back to back to back? Yeah, I, I, you know, that, that's certainly something we're, we're beginning to notice. And, and that's, I think, intentional because mm -hmm. our journeys are designed to be back to back. We don't have a true home port. So we're right. going to be um, offering the ability for our guests to have extended journeys and really get to know a region as, mm -hmm. a part, as opposed to maybe just a country. They can explore yeah. a whole region and really get to know it um, in true style. 
and then I, I did want to kind of highlight some of the some of the distinguishing um, journeys that I think are really going to catch a lot of people's attention and because of how uh, unique they are. And, and first and foremost is going to be our, our um, foray into the Arabian Gulf. And I know mm-hmm. um, that part of the world is really beginning yes. to see a lot of uh, interest and in, in buzz, uh, particularly after, of course, uh, the World Cup yes. uh, this winter. But this uh, particular uh, itinerary, I, I really enjoy uh, going from from Jeddah uh, on the western side of, of Saudi Arabia all the way over into uh, on the other side into the Red Sea of um, of Dubai and, and into the UAE. Kind of mm-hmm. a uh, really glitzy and, and kind of glam type uh, yes. type uh, a journey for, for our guests. And, and you're entering Saudi Arabia, which is just really opening up to tourists. Right. right? I was just going to say, I think I believe it was 2021 yes. when they just reopened. Yes. So this is a, a whole new world. Part this of the world that you're only now beginning to go. Now. Yes, exactly. Collected for your bragging rights. <laughs> well, and, and, and do so on a brand new ship yes. uh, with a brand new brand as well. So Absolutely. you can check several of those boxes <laughs> off, off your bucket list uh, for sure. Uh, and then as we continue to move through, mm-hmm. you know, the Arabian uh, Peninsula and into uh, into uh, in India and into the Indian Ocean here, mm-hmm. we're going to be touching on some amazing, amazing destinations mm-hmm. that aren't the normal uh, cruise ports that you would traditionally see. So first and foremost here, like I had this wonderful journey from Mumbai to Mombasa, which I think has a, has a nice ring yes, to it. Yes, it does. Alliteration. 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 Yes. Who doesn't Perfect. love a little bit of alliteration? <laughs> so for those who have an extended, um, some extended time on their hands, this is a 14 night journey mm-hmm. starting of course there in, in India in Mumbai, and then moving down through the Indian Ocean, touching on uh, some some d- destinations that you may be familiar with, the Maldives, the Seychelles, yeah. Madagascar, down into, uh, and then of course, uh, ending in, in Kenya as well. So really yes. offering an eclectic uh, a journey that will mm-hmm. be kind of hard to hard to find uh, anywhere else. Yes, fabulous. Now, are you also offering in addition pre and post packages for a lot of these journeys? Absolutely. That that is certainly going to be uh, what we're going to be launching and working on okay. launching here before our inaugural season kicks off here. We're going to be offering the ability for our guests to do um, pre and post days uh, as well as overland experiences. So okay. for those who may be wanting to get a little bit more uh, inland and away from the ship, they can off they in can, one port, back on on the other. Exactly. You can really get a sense of, of, a, of a region or, yeah. or a destination that way. And, and that's certainly that uh, we're going to be very very, uh, that hasn't excited. been done for quite a while. With the the overland experiences, the overland experiences, they there's have not a, been around for a while. Yeah, and and, uh, and certainly not all destinations call no. for them, of course. But you know, when when it when it appropriate, that is where we're mm-hmm. going to find ourselves offering um, those uh, those different experiences for those guests. Nice. And then moving now into um, kind of the the ethos of of what our our journeys have uh, been, how they've been designed, and in talking to our our head of. Uh, uh, itinerary planning and destination mm-hmm. experiences and and um working with the team there to understand why they they designed our journeys to be the way they are um and what what is what they told us is that we wanted to have a more uh, simply put an intentional uh, ap- approach to how we visit destinations so again arriving earlier leaving later having mm-hmm. overnight stays in each uh, almost in each one of our journeys mm-hmm. that we've that we'll be offering and then of course offering sea days because you're on the water. You want to have an opportunity yes. to really uh, get to know the ship uh, and really have an opportunity to to relax without feeling as if you have to to get off mm-hmm. in the destination. Or, well, or especially in those fabulous, um, you know, kind of I don't remember what you call them, state rooms. I don't know. Suites. Suites All in the suite fabulous economy. suites. Yes. You want to be able to spend time in those, in addition to the destinations, as yeah. opposed to maybe some other ships out there where you're avoiding your room as much as possible well, well yeah it, it's all part of the nomenclature for us and we we have a whole glossary mm-hmm. of, of words that we use but for the most part uh, yeah so exactly as you said they're they're suites but we're, we're, we also refer to them as our homes at sea yes. and that is going to offer uh, the ability for you to kind of relax into your into your residence mm-hmm. if you will and, and really uh, get a get into that ocean state of mind and they're very spacious don't they they are 377 square that feet? is good 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 uh, our good number so yeah, yeah good, good memory there Yes, Bob. Yeah. So we'll, our entry level suite category starts at 377 mm-hmm. square feet of total space. Um, and uh, really what's great about the some of the uh, standard amenities in each one of our suites is going to be king size beds, mm-hmm. walk in showers, heated marble floors as well. in each one of our nice. our suites as well, which is a, a nice touch that I, I'm, I'm fairly certain is is probably an industry first or something that really uh, should be a more more uh, more common in the industry for sure. It definitely needs to be more common. Absolutely. And, you know, last but not least uh, is the fact that we'll have Dyson hair dryers in each one of our suites, which I'm sure oh. you can you'll be able to appreciate and take advantage of when you're yes. on board with us. Kathy and I had some fun discussing that. We're very excited <laughs> about that. <laughs> 
Well, wonderful. So that, like I said, I wanted to keep it nice and short and sweet and give you kind of a, a give you all a, a hint mm-hmm. of, of what's to come in our inaugural season. Like I said, we are now less than 200 days away from our, our, Super from our first journey on, on July 17th. So this is just the beginning of uh, what is to be an amazing year for mm-hmm. us at Explore Journeys. And remember, if you're looking to book with Explora Journeys, just reach out to us at gotravel.com and we will connect you with a specialist. Tomas is here training all of our advisors to make sure that they can mm-hmm. answer those questions for you um, and get you booked into the ultimate suite to your liking and, and the ultimate itinerary for mm-hmm. you. Exactly. And remember, if you book with Go Travel, you'll be uh, eligible to earn a 300 euro journey experience credit if you book a journey that is seven nights or longer. And what's even gr- better is the fact that that is a combinable offer. So let's say you book two journeys back to back. So let's say you do two seven nighters, you'll be able to uh, earn 600 euros for your uh, for your experience on board Explore Journeys. Fantastic. Wow. Well, time to sign up, time to get exploring. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> yes, the ocean state this of mind. mind. Um, thank you so much, Tomas, for, for joining us today. Any final words of advice for our um, our? Our audience audience out there. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, so as a parting message, I wish you all to stay tuned to the latest happenings here at Explore Journeys. There is a lot more information to come as we lead up to our inaugural season in July of 2023. Well, fantastic. Yeah, Thank you good. much so much for joining yeah. us today. Yes. Again, we will see you here right here next week for another Tuesday Travel Chat. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.